Hi, welcome to Simple Scuba. This is the Atomic T3 Regulator. It is like the most awesome supercar of the diving world. Um, it is the very highest specification regulator currently on the market. Fully made from titanium uh, for the first stage and full titanium components on the inside. The second stage is really, really light, but really, really strong as well. Real um, design work has gone into the thought of the, the product uh, to help reduce as much weight as possible, make it as uh, responsive as possible, and just as high performing as it could possibly be. Uh, nothing is ever really taken for granted at Atomic. Everything is thought about to the uh, nth degree, to the point where material selection is of a, a key aspect to um, sort of prevent corrosion, make it nice and lightweight, and very quick to respond. So it's the highest performing. I can't really stress enough how high performing and lightweight this regulator is. So if, you, if money is no object and you want the absolute best, this is the regulator to have a look at. So the T3. First stage is a very high performing piston um, balanced design. It's also environmentally sealed with a cap round there. So the insides are packed out with um, oxygen safe grease, making it uh, compatible with uh, nitrox up to 40% straight out of the box. Unlike most um, piston first stages, it is environmentally sealed, which makes it really, really good for cold water use as well. It is a very small, compact little uh, first stage, very, very sleek, very narrow, so it's really going to keep out of the way. It is incredibly light as well. This whole set weighs less than 750 grams, which is pretty incredible for a full size uh, regulator. If I uh, just point the, the DIN wheel towards the camera, you can see little, little bits of cutout on that, on that thumb wheel. That's the degree they've gone to to try and minimize, minimize weight. The, a clamp version as well has had a whole new design which is pretty unique um, to, the, to the diving world. Really thinned out blades, um, sort of split out uh, to give a really nice detailing, but also to reduce as much weight as possible. So available in the DIN 300 bar and also the A clamp which is 232 bar as well. It's a high, high performing piston, uh, it's a jet seat piston which is really, really uh, sleek and highly responsive. Comes with two high pressure ports, one on either side, and four low pressure ports around the swivel at the top, around the low pressure swivel, and you have the high flow low pressure port on the top. Of course, you can move it off the, the, prior, the second stage off onto one of the other ports. There's no problem with that. It's just, it's, this is the highest flow, highest efficiency port. So obviously Atomic are gonna sort of say, use that one, because that's the best. Standard rubber hose, obviously branded up Atomic, slightly larger and slightly bigger bore inside for higher flow. And then coming down to the second stage, again titanium pieces and components inside. A really nice smooth knuckle joint, knuckle ball joint as the second stage meets the hose. And that's made from titanium as well. Front cover, ring is made from titanium and both of those are coated with a black PVD. Uh, and the PVD coating is there to really enhance the scratch resistance of the metal, so really giving it a longevity to the product as well. Really, really light. Um, it is one of the lightest second stages I know of. Um, and just again, the whole design uh, process has been really thought out to minimise weight, increase performance and make it as enjoyable breathe as possible. Kind of standard features inside, balanced uh, valve, obviously made from titanium to make it as light as possible. Inhalation adjustment on the side, it is a rapid adjustment one, so it will make significant difference very, very quickly. And that's really there to detune the second stage uh, in special circumstances if you need to. Front cover is a whole purge button. Using a dual material front cover gives it strength to resist of accidental pressing, but also allows it to be soft enough to push. Got Venturi control, but it's an automated system. So rather than having a little lever on the side that you would do on a normal second stage, it's actually controlled by the second stage itself, and that will compensate uh, to provide the best performance married up with the best reliability as you ascend and descend. So it's very much like the pre-dive and dive modes of a normal second stage, but it's all handled automatically. The exhaust cover, 
designed nicely to provide good clearance of bubbles around the side of the face. Uh, again, dual finish and materials inside to give a nice stylish look. So you've got sort of gloss parts in there to allow bubbles to stream off as easily as possible. And then back to the matte finish on the outside. And then finally, the mouthpiece is one of the softest mouthpieces I've ever used, but it does have a higher density uh, firmer silicon on the bike grips themselves so you're not going to bite through it and it sort of prolongs the life of the mouthpiece as well. So absolutely fantastic regulator. It is expensive but you do get what you pay for. That's the Atomic T3 regulator.